Hi, I will show you how to stream video files and access your computer from your iPhone or Android phone. First thing we will need to set up an FTP server on your computer. That takes less than a minute. An FTP server is a file sharing server that allows you to access specific files and directories from anywhere in the world, as long as you have an internet connection. The second part is setting up your router to direct traffic to your PC. That takes around a minute. The last part is downloading the free VLC app from Apple Store or Android Market. Let's jump into it. We need to set up the FTP server on your PC. In order to do this, you need to have Windows 7, 8 or 10 and it has to be the ultimate or professional version. You can't do this on your home version. So if you don't have the professional or the ultimate version, you can't do this guide. Okay, follow my steps now. Search for features. It should pop up. This one called Turn Windows Features On or Off. I need to be an on admin account. I'm on a virtual computer right now. So let me just fix that up. Okay. Okay. And we need to search for features again. And we okay, so that works. So you find information, internet information services. Click the plus, mark this one, this one, and this one, and press OK. I already have it, but you're gonna have to wait for the download. It takes like ten seconds. So after it's downloaded, you're not gonna see anything other than the progress. You search for IIS. Need to relog as well. It hasn't seen a mapman yet, so I need to relog. Should take a second, yes. Okay, let's see if we get in now. Okay, I'm in now. So if it doesn't pop up when you search for IIS, you can do features or admin, yeah, administrative tools. In here you can find all the admin tools. And it should be, yeah, it's here. It's the same thing, it's just a shortcut for that one. So open that up, or you can just search for IIS, same thing. First thing we want to do now is uh, do Log on attempt restrictions, so nobody can brute force your server. So just enable that. You can change these values if you want to. You don't need to. It should be fine. You can do two. I do two. Uh, okay, so I had some issues doing it on the virtual PC. So we're gonna do it on the, my physical PC instead. So it's basically the same thing. I just read it. This is my um, this is my actual FTP server right now. It's it's off right now. Uh, so what you want to do now is right click sites and say add FTP site to do it all over. So here you choose a name, this can be anything. This is just for yourself. And then you choose a path of the FTP server. This is where it resides. You can add more directories after, but this is just the default one. So just choose something like, uh, if you only want to share your music, you can do that. I'm just going to choose my local disk. Then you basically have access for everything. Here you want to type your uh, private IP address. You can find that by typing CMD in your Windows Start menu to open command prompt. And here you type ipconfig. Uh, in case you missed it, ipconfig, like this. Uh, under IPv4 you find your private address. So this one is the one we need. Uh, you can copy that off. Uh, here, this is basically the address you get uh, from your router or the one you statically assign to yourself. Um, the port is default 21 for FTP. You don't need to enable virtual host names and we turn SSL off. Uh, you can uh, enable or disable this to your liking. Next, basic authentication and you select. You can choose anything you want here. Uh, I go with uh, one specific user just to limit it as much as possible. Uh, I specify user here. Uh, this is my username. You can see this here if you're in, if you're not sure on the users. 
Uh, I'm not sure if that's case sensitive. It probably isn't, but doesn't hurt. Here you can change the permissions. Can they delete and add stuff, or can they just read? Uh, finish. So this is the one I just made. Uh, you can only have one FTP server on a, a specific port running at, a, at the same time. So I had to stop my other one in in order to make this one uh, appear online. So let's test it. You can uh, access your FTP server in many ways. You can um, do it in Windows Explorer or you can do it in, for example, an internet uh, browser um, such as Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. There are several uh, softwares to access an FTP server. Uh, new window. And here you type the FTP address. Again, this is the um, private address of your PC, the one you specified in the FTP server setup. Um, <coughs> you specify the FTP protocol because uh, else it would use HTTP. And when you specify the FTP protocol, it automatically knows to do uh, the 21 port, port 21. So we don't need to specify that. So you specify FTP and then you specify the IP address. And uh, if we press enter, we should connect. Yeah, so now we're met with this dialog box. Uh, it knows my info from earlier uh, on my other server. So here you type the info and the password you want to use, the password you have for that specific account because you allowed that specific account to join earlier. Login and you you have access to the files now. If we do it in uh, Windows Explorer here, just paste it in same thing and you can see it's the same files um, so anybody on your network can access this uh, SP server by typing this in Windows Explorer or their Chrome um, they can't do it if they're not in the network because we haven't uh, enabled that on your router yet you need to do port forwarding for that but that comes after so to summarize what we did is we made an FTP server we gave it a name gave an IP address which happened to be the IP address the private IP address of the current computer we're on we gave it a port default port and we gave it a default uh, directory to be in when you log into the FTP server which is also on the computer it's the C drive for us um, you can add more later I'll show you how so right now anyone on the entire network under your router can access this specific FTP server so now we want to make it possible to access it from the entire internet so you can access it from your work or wherever you are doesn't matter your router is going to take care of it so to do this we have to go into the router configuration mode uh, you do that by accessing your um, router uh, you can find out how uh, what your router's IP address is because that's how you're going to contact it by typing ipconfig into the cmd again here look for a default gateway default gateway this is uh, your router's IP address so if you have access to your router's IP uh, your router you can go into any browser and type the IP address of it so this is what the configuration mode for my router looks like you're gonna look for something called port forwarding anything like that it's probably inside configuration uh, like this for me uh, if you're having trouble finding it, you can Google your specific router's configuration, but it shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, this is port forwarding for me. So this is all the port forwardings that have already been done. I'm going to make a new one. Call it FTP1 or just FTP. Give it port 21 because that's where our FTP server is operating. For the, from the range and from the redirection port. Uh, for my specific router, I can't choose both TCP and UDP, which we need. I can't choose both at the same time, I don't know why. So I have to do one rule for TCP and one rule for UDP. Uh, so let's do TCP first. You choose a host here. This is the host of um, where the FTP server is being hosted. So basically you're telling your router if it gets information on the public IP address, with that port specified then it has to redirect it to that PC or that IP address so save 
and 6s and we're gonna do a new one FTP one you probably not ha you probably don't have to do this if you can choose both at the same time I just can't and we choose UDP this time choose the same person as host which is my PC and it's saved so in theory we should be able to access from the internet now so to test if it works publicly let's uh, do a demonstration first we need to know your public IP address your public IP address is is uh, unique in the whole world it's assigned by your ISP your internet service provider um, so nobody else has it uh, every website has an, a unique IP address so um, yeah just to show you how uh, if you don't know your uh, your public IP address, you can Google it. Uh, you can Google what's my IP. There are several websites which can, which can tell you. you. Can even see the see it in your router configuration. So this is my public IP address. Nobody else has this IP address in the whole world. Just for you to understand. Uh, so if I type this in my browser, FTP in front of it, so it knows it's the FTP protocol. Don't need to specify the port. Um, you see I met with this dialog box so it works you can do this from any PC in the whole world and you can see the files so it works now so to add more directories to the FTP server you can uh, right click uh, we need to find it first open sites and find your server and add virtual directory so if you want to add another folder your another drive for example uh, say give it a simple name because you're gonna have to type this in later in your browser so you want it to be as simple as possible I'm giving a D for D drive uh, HDD okay don't need to specify anything here and it's here so to access this one we need to do, by the way, now you can either do your private IP or your public IP. Both of them will work. I'm just going to do my public IP. Um, so here I can specify D for D drive. And it would go into my D drive. Easy as that. All right, so to sum up what we've done so far is we've set up an FTP server on your PC. We set up login restrictions. We added an additional directory or drive afterwards. We connected to it from your local network and done port forwarding so we can connect to it from anywhere on the internet. So finally, we want to set up your phone to be able to stream media directly from your PC and we do that through the VLC app. Right, so now we want to have the VLC app so we can stream media from PC or FTP server. So first off, uh, let me pull this up. First off, go into App Store or Android Market and search for VLC and it should be the first option. Um, I already got it, so yeah, you just have to download it. Uh, click the app and click the icon top left click the house icon local network can't change my language by the way and uh, connect to server in the top choose FTP and s put your public IP address so you can connect from anywhere the port is already specified this is the username uh, the one we chose before in the IIS setup uh, who can connect and we chose one specific user called DFP and the password for that user okay press ok and you can si save the preset this is the preset we just made if you swipe to the left you can delete it and if you make a new one it's gonna list under here um, so after we made it uh, you can press connect right here and we have the FTP server so if we find mm, 
we find a streamable file should be able to play it yeah so this is what it looks like right now I feel the sun on my so you don't lose quality or anything I see trees all around me the scent of wild flowers on a breeze it's so beautiful and obviously this is on your iPhone I'm just projecting my iPhone on the PC so this is what it looks this like for me so yeah that pretty much sums it up you can connect to your FTP server from anywhere in the world and you can play uh, stream streamable files music and videos like this so that concludes it thanks for watching